Hello everyone. Uh, myself, Mr. F. R. Sayed. I work as an assistant professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering at Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. The topic for my today's lecture is inserting a node at the end of a singly linked list. The learning outcome. Now, at the end of this session, the students will be able to write a C program for inserting a node at the end of a singly linked list. Now there are two different scenarios. We need to check which one is true for this case. If the list is empty, meaning if there are no elements in the linked list, so in that case we will make the start pointer to point to this node. Otherwise if there are some nodes already present in the linked list, so we will have to traverse and reach to the last node of the linked list and then make the next pointer of this node to point to the new node that we are going to add at the end of the linked list. So now, we have a question for the students. The students are expected to think and write the answer to the following question. Now consider the following sequence of insertion operations that are done on the singly linked list. That is, the sequence is first element 50 is added at the beginning, then element 70 is added at the end, then element 80 is added at the end of the linked list, and finally element 30 is added at the beginning of the linked list. So we know that there are two different operations on the uh, linked list that is insert at the beginning and insert at the end. So we have used a mix of these uh, operations. So we have used these operations and accordingly inserted these elements. So now what will be the sequence of elements in the linked list? So now pause the video and write your answer. Okay. The elements in the linked list will be in this order that is 30, 50, 70 and 80. So we will see how initially the element 50 was added at the beginning. So therefore we have the element 50. Then when we add 70 at the end means 70 will be added after 50 because we know there is only one node present in the list that was 50 and then when 70 was added at the end we have only two elements 50 and 70. So later on the next operation is insert 80 at the end that means 80 will be added after 70 so we can see the elements 50, 70 and 80 and finally we want to add the element 30 at the beginning so therefore 30 will be added just before the element 50. So this is what the elements in the linked list will look like. Okay, so now we'll write a program for that. So we are going to first include the header file that is stdio.h and stdlib.h. Then we are going to declare the struct node that will be having two elements that is int data and struct node star next that is a pointer to the next node of the linked list. Then we are going to declare the prototype of the function that we are going to use. So initially we will declare the prototype for the insert from the end function that is ins underscore end. So which will take as parameter the structure pointer that is indicating the start pointer and then the element int that is to be added at the end of the linked list. And similarly we have the display function whose prototype will be such that it returns void and it takes a parameter as struct node star that is nothing but the start pointer. So then we go on to see our main function. In the main function we declare a struct node star start pointer and initialize it to null. Then we take some integer variables like int ch for taking the choice from the user as well as an integer as item that is to insert an element in the linked list. So then we take a loop in which we first display the choices that are available for the user. So we will display the choices that is one for insert at end then two for display and then 3 for 
exiting that is to come out of the program execution or, or rather to come out of the loop then it will ask the user enter your choice that means what the user wants to do and then with the help of scanf we'll take the user's choice in the variable ch and depending upon what value the user enters for in ch we are going to have a switch case that is this will be a menu driven program so for case 1 we are going to ask the user enter your element we will read that element in the variable item and then we are going to call the insert end function where we will pass the value of start and the value of item and accordingly then after returning we are going to break this then case 2 will be for display function that is it will just display the elements present in the link list we are going to pass start and accordingly after completing the work we are going to break and then we have case 3 for exiting from the program so the exit call and finally for any other choice that the user enters we are going to just display wrong choice so now we'll see the insert at the end function two parameters that is struct node star s and then int x and what we need to do is we are going to first uh, declare a temporary pointer as temp struct node star temp and temp equal to struct node star malloc size of struct node so memory is allocated for that and we are going to make temp arrow next equal to null since this will be the this will become the last pointer or rather this will become the last node so now we are going to check if the current start is equal to null meaning there are no elements present in the list so in that case what are we going to do is we are going to make s equal to temp so that is what our work will be otherwise that is in else we are going to we are going to move till the last node so that means we are going to take another pointer let us suppose a pointer as star ptr so i will make ptr equal to s and while ptr arrow next is not equal to null that means ptr arrow next will be equal to null only for the last node in the link list so i my aim is to reach the last node so i i give a loop such that I give a condition such that it reaches the last node in the link list. So while ptr on x not equal to null, just move this pointer ptr the, with the help of ptr plus plus. And ultimately, when it reaches the last node, what I'll do is ptr arrow next equal to temp. And at the end, I'll return the value of s. Similarly, we can write the display function. I'll write if s equal to null then printf list is empty otherwise temp equal to s and while temp not equal to null printf percentage d with some space temp arrow data so now we are going to run this code 
to see if there is an error in the program line number 62 okay there is some missing semicolon I'll first see whether the list is empty or not yes it says list is empty now I add an element as 10 then I display there is some mistake in the display function after displaying I need to write temp equal to temp arrow next so that will probably solve the doubt So I've added in sequence the elements 10, 20. So let me see by displaying whether the elements get displayed in that order. Okay, so there is one line that is missing. I need to stop that execution. And accordingly, I'll have to make that line as temp arrow data equal to x so that the element is stored at the location intended. Suppose if I add elements 20 and 30, let me see by displaying whether it gives me the correct output. Yes. 20 is added and then 30 is added at the end of the linked list. So this is the reference used for the video lecture. Thank you.